What was your phone call about, buddy? Me and Sabra. You were calling Sabra? Uh huh. Cool. Is this the girl that you asked to marry you at school? He said yes. Oh, okay. God. You want to come? I jump off the So, Caleb, are you going to take the sunglasses off once you're inside? No. Just I keep them on? Keep them on. Alright. <laughs> so, we're randomly having a cold day today. So, we got the jackets on. I wish I had fur. I wish I was a bear with fur, fur. Yeah. Just a classic Barney song. All right, I'm trying to get Caleb to finish his cookie before he gets in the car. Lord gave me hers. Oh, is that what happened? Whole question: Do you eat in your car, or is that one of the rules in your family that you can't eat? Let us know in the poll. While Jeremy's running errands with the little kids today, I've got the big kids here getting schoolwork done. Elise is getting ready for her very first ever spelling test. How are you feeling? Kind of scared. You nervous? It's, yeah, I'm kind of nervous that I won't get anything right. It's a spelling tests are hard, and you've got some big words on your test. Mm -hmm. And Isaac's working on math. Nice. Could I have two small unicorn drinks? Unfortunately, the unicorn has disappeared. We are out forever. It's gone forever? Forever and ever, the unicorn is disappeared. Well, apparently we missed the unicorn drink at Starbucks. I'm okay with that. It's gone forever? But question for you and you could just let us know in the comments when there's a fad that comes along do you normally want to try it are you curious and interested or are you kind of gonna just avoid it because it's a fad like everyone's doing this so I'm not gonna do it did you try the unicorn drink from Starbucks let us know in the poll we missed out that's okay it's gone all right now's the real deal Elise number seven is hundred. What would you do if you had a hundred dollars? Hundred. You have great handwriting. Opposite. Tall and short are opposites. Opposite. That was your first test. How'd it go? Good. Do you want to hear how you did? Yeah. You got nine out of ten correct. You only missed one. Good job. Which one was it? Which one? You missed number six. I'm so proud of Elise. It's really fun to see the kids studying and working hard and learning so much at school. I really enjoy teaching them. I didn't think I was going to homeschool my kids when I grew up. Like, I didn't ever plan on doing that, but I absolutely love it. Laura, what are we making for lunch? Waffles. Waffles? What kind of waffles? I don't know. Can you tell me it? We're gonna make egg waffles. Egg waffles. I saw it on Instagram somewhere. Anyway, it looked healthy and fun. So I wanted to try it. So I mixed up some eggs and spinach and there's a little bit of turkey and cheese and red pepper and salt and pepper in there. So now we're going to put it in here. Why are we putting it in there now? Because that's where we're gonna cook it. It's gonna turn into a waffle. Don't burn yourself, Mom. I'll be super careful. All right, let's see what this does. Let's check. We can't check it yet. We just put it in there. Should we check it? Yeah. All right. What do you think? They're almost done. Does it look like waffles? It's almost done. Yeah, I think it needs a Oops. little bit more. All right, so it's done. I'm just going to flip it over and pull it out. It kind of sounds like it's going to explode. <laughs> Should I be scared right now? What do you guys think of that sound? I think that's going to fart. It's going to fart. Did the other ones do that? Um, a little bit, but not that much. 
That one must I be extra loaded. Yeah. I'm about to take my first bite. Mm. I took a bite. What do you think? You took your sunglasses off for eating lunch. There we go. <laughs> so, what did you think of it? You can tell that it's healthier. Like, it's not cooked with a bunch of butter and fried goodness, but I liked it. I, it was really good. Salsa on it um, was a good flavor for it. So, Laura is telling stories over here. When I was a mom, I baked olive cheese baker. Back when you were a mom? Then my brother ran into the oven oh. and he burnt himself and cut him. Which brother? Oh, also my son. Oh, it was your son. What's his name? Alex. Alex. So I actually really like this. It's really good. The only problem is because it looks like a waffle, now I'm just craving real waffles like the syrup and buttery warm goodness everywhere or strawberries on top and whipped cream. Yeah, this isn't as good as that. <laughs> Sleeping and so is Janae. Janae's all snuggled up with me. Isn't she sweet? Anyway, I was just visiting with my mom on the phone talking about plans for our upcoming family reunion. It's only about a month away and I'm so excited. I can't believe summer is that soon, but it's gonna be great to see my whole family and to be at the cabin. And I just, my mom was talking to me about some of the details and it's gonna be awesome. So who's excited for summer? Who is having a family reunion this summer? Where are you going? What are you doing? Let us know. I'm excited. It's going to be a great summer. Hey, Miss Janae. What do you think? Should we have pizza for dinner? on my bed and it is a special journal that is Isaac's journal and it's one that he and Jeremy and I pass back and forth to each other so I'll write a note to Isaac and I leave it on his bed and then Isaac writes a note back to me or his dad and leaves it on our bed and then Jeremy will write back to Isaac and so it's just our chance to talk about things that are important to us and to I don't know it's just a special letter writing we let him know how much we appreciate him and yeah, so I just found it on the bed with a little note from Isaac to me, telling me thank you for some things and asking me some questions. So I just wrote back to him and I'm putting it on his bed. Here it comes.
guys, what was your favorite part? I like going down the slides with Isaac. I like going down the big slide with Elise. I like going down the big slide with Isaac and Elise. You didn't go down the big slide. <laughs> Trickster. So they have a family bathroom here where we're getting ready to go. Okay, you guys want to go get pizza? Oh, yeah, baby. You tired after all that swimming? Laura, why are you putting soap on your face? Because I'm shaving. Are you shaving? Uh, Just like daddy? Yeah. Gotta get that beard and mustache all shaved. So this reminds me, when I was about Laura's age, I went in and grabbed my dad's razor and cut my lips really bad, trying to shave to be just like him. Well, we ate a ton of pizza and now we are tired and we are just going to relax as a family and watch a movie. And I'm just feeling really grateful at the end of the day today. I'm remembering back to other years and different seasons of our life when Jeremy worked a more traditional job schedule. Now, since he works from home, we have a ton of flexibility and so he was able to be with the kids and play with them today and now he's gonna watch a little bit of the movie with us and then he's gonna disappear into his basement office and work, work, work. And I know he gets less sleep this way, but it's so nice that while our kids are young, he's able to be a part of our lives so much. I'm just feeling really grateful for that. So, so Jeremy, when you see this clip and you're editing this, we love you and we're grateful for you and all your hard work for our family. <laughs> It was just an accident. Here I go, Edward. Good night, Jay Hassel. Bye, family. You are a strong girl. You made a baby? And I may have cried a little. She's been asking for her squeeze medicine.